actor Johnny Depp is in the middle of a financial battle. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor is suing Joel and Robert Mandel, saying their negligence left him $40 million in debt. Depp tells the Wall Street Journal that his former business managers let him down. But in a counter lawsuit, the managers blame his troubles on a lavish $2 million a month lifestyle. One of my favorite things that he said uh, to the journal, he said, quote, it's my money if I want to buy 15,000 cotton balls a day, it's my thing. And that's uh can't argue with that. No. I mean, that's what we want to do. It, if that's roll that's around in it like do. Scrooge McDuck, that'd be fun. So this is interesting to have this much money in the first place. That sounds ridiculous, but he makes what, 20, 30, 40 sure. million dollars sure. a sure. movie. Sure. Yeah. So he has the money to go around. But this fight between the the management company is very interesting because he's accusing them of kind of mismanaging it in a way. Yeah, you know, I wonder how often this happens in Hollywood, right? Where you hire a management company, you have a manager that manages your career, but you also have a manager that manages your business. Right. And these managers are dealing with people who spend like crazy. So you, on the one hand, are trying to rein in potentially irresponsible spending, like Johnny Depp having 14 homes, blowing two to five million dollars. He on. says five on a cannon to shoot Hunter S. Thompson's ashes over uh, Aspen. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. Just, you know. It's a lot of money. That's, That's an interesting choice, but money. again, it's his money. But if you, want uh, to spend you it have the that. manager trying to get it under control, yep. also trying to keep their job, also getting a commission, maybe mm -hmm. doing, you know, There's Johnny some Depp says. For them to yeah, play. Depp says, I want to buy this house. Mm -hmm. And the manager's like, Johnny, you have, you have 13. Do you need one more? He's like, Yeah, I really want this one. So the manager like takes out a loan, does a little bit, oh, we do this, yeah. we do that. Loose Next thing you know, he's 40 million in debt. And do you think Johnny Depp is like looking at his checkbook? I don't think so. No. So you see why he's blaming it. But if you had that kind of dough, uh, so Kylie Burris, you now have $40 million. Uh, oh. Could you imagine? Blowing all of that money I and going into say, severe debt. I want to say no, that I can't imagine what I would spend that money on. But then you, yeah. you're like, oh, take this private plane over. Oh, and I can have this island. He does own like, a chain of islands. I, he has yeah. a chain of. I, you know, I, I just, you, I think you spend what you have, and I think it's a human thing that people. Do. Whether you're making I do it, fifty thousand, no, a hundred thousand, well, or yeah. forty million. You know, and I think when you're at that level of wealth, everyone's got their hand out too, and everyone's trying to make a buck off of you. We yeah. see stories of people winning the lottery and then going. Going broke, we see professional athletes well, essentially winning the lottery there sure. yeah. and going broke. It it happens. Yeah. I guess I'm two not million surprised. dollar a month spending. It's hard to feel that bad. <laughs> you know, oh, if he I made better movies recently, I would be more <laughs> empathetic. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he makes so much money. It's one or two movies, and he's like, all I, right, I'm back. I think I'm like everyone. I'm willing to try to see if I can handle that kind of money. Yeah, Ooh. give it a go. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. That's very big of you, uh -huh. Jason. Thank you. <laughs>